Students, executives, investors are increasingly convinced that environmental, social, and governance factors are material. Material in that they affect value, they affect valuation, they affect strategy. ESG is now boardroom level conversation. Executives need to think ahead about what to consider and how to change their strategy in the face of increasing ESG risks. There's an increasing demand for people that are fluent in ESG. And so the really nice thing about the way we've structured this program is it gives you some fluency across all three of those pillars. Our ESG programs for executives are taught by standing Wharton faculty who bring cutting edge research in the ESG realms to the table. And then they translate this research into actionable insights. We provide a four-week introduction program across different roles and responsibilities that you might have, and then four weeks tailored to three specific roles. One is the investor, the person who's assessing companies. Another four-week program targets senior leaders, members of the board, the C-suite, or people likely to be in one of those roles soon. And then finally, the strategist, the person who's tasked with actually making the case. What's unique about the program is the richness and timeliness of the content and the diversity and depth of the faculty involved in both designing and delivering on the subject. The program architecture accommodates busy executives who can learn at their own pace for part of the program, while also getting face time with their peers and working ESG experts. Well, the live online experience is a lot like the experience would be here in the classroom at Ward. A lot of small breakout exercises, a lot of time with their peers wrestling with problems, hearing different perspectives, and then discussing it back together in a larger setting with the professor. And one of the strengths of the program is the breadth of different backgrounds and industries represented by the people that are drawn to Wharton for this part of their education. And so we want everyone to be a resource to each other as well, because it's going to take all of those various capabilities and experiences to solve the sorts of major crises that are on the horizon. We're going back to what it means to be a manager, what it means to be a business, and bringing climate, bringing social justice, bringing human rights more centrally into that understanding and into that valuation process. I think that Wharton has always been the leader in the field in terms of analytical rigor. So it just makes sense that we should be at the forefront of introducing more rigorous analytical strategies to analyze ESG. We're not just providing stories of best practices. We're showing how to crunch the numbers, do the valuation exercises, manage the data to deliver real and strategically valuable insights to investors, senior leaders, and strategists.